everyone, we're here at the IVA Source, but today we have a special interview because we're here at the TLX 210 King Street building and I'm here with Michael Davis to talk about new technology for classrooms. I'm so excited about this because it's totally something different than we've done in the past, but Michael, what do you do here? It's a great question, Brian. Well, at the TLX, the Teaching and Learning Exchange, what we do is we're faculty facilitators and instructional designers and what we do is we work with faculty to help them um, teach their classes. We help them with um, anything having to do with teaching and learning and how they present their classes to their students. Oh, perfect. And actually now that we see on the tables, guys, uh, some technology here, is this something that we're, we're promoting or we're going to start using? How is, how is this going to affect well, our, our classrooms? Well, we do a bunch of things. So one of the things that we do is we offer traditional workshops. So okay. you can come in and learn about how to write a, how to create a rubric or um, objective-based learning. So how to design your curriculum yeah. based on the objective of the course or uh, how to create an engaging class or how to play games in the class or gaming in the classroom. So we do all those traditional things. Um, we also do some one-on-one -on -one coaching. So let's say if you're a professor, Brian, yeah, yeah. you come to me and say, look, I'm really thinking about working on this project, yeah. but I need a little help sort of setting some guidelines, um, following through on what I, what I want to do. Okay. So a coach would work with you to help you complete some concrete goals. Okay. Another thing we do is we do a drop-in time. So when it's, we're at the TLX at 210 King, room 225, yeah. is open, and you can come in and you can just talk to us about Blackboard, you can talk about anything that you want. But one of the great things about that drop-in time is we have a lot of technology available yeah. so you can practice and try it out okay. and think about how you implement that technology in your classroom. Okay, so if I'm a faculty, uh, how do, I guess we have to put a number or is there an email that we put for you that they could contact or how does this work? That's, that's a great question. So there's a sort of a group website, or sorry, a group email. It's tlx at georgebrown.ca. Okay, we'll put it right down over here, please. All right, right, perfect. And we have three faculty facilitators. Okay. And we have three instructional designers who are all working within the TLX. So you can contact any of us individually. Okay. Or you can contact um, the TLX at georgebrown.ca. Oh, perfect. This is perfect. Now, let's talk a little bit about your technology here because sure. uh, uh, I'm just curious about how we could use this stuff. like. This is so cool, like I'm looking at these glasses and how we could use this in a, in a classroom, how, how okay. does this work? So these are the Epsom Moviero glasses and right. what these do is, I'll take a risk at looking nerdy here. And what these oh, do you look pretty is, cool with that, don't you think guys? Give me some thumbs up on that. I like it, thank you. So I can actually record and I can see, this. these are the old, so if you remember yeah. when um, Google Glass came out yes, and yes. they kind of discontinued, these are the new version, this is from Epsom, so what I can do is, I can record point of view okay. um, perspective so that when I'm in a class or if I'm doing a skill, I can actually record what I'm doing and show it to students later. So for example, let's say you're at Casa Loma and you're doing a carpentry class mm -hmm. and you want to sort of show some skills but you want to have your hands free. So you could be doing a carpentry um, skill, you can record that skill, then you can put that skill up on Blackboard or on YouTube wow. so that students after class can review and practice what you've done in class. So one, one of the great things about this is, and one of the limitations we have is, once you've done something in a traditional class, yes. it's gone. But with these, you can record them and put them up so that people can constantly be referring to them. Well, this is perfect for so many uh, classrooms. I think even the chef house could use something like that because they're always cutting, doing different things. Well, is that right? we are actually creating a series of skills videos for fundamental or foundations of cooking. Perfect. And uh, there's been a lot of interest around the college for starting to create these short little skills videos. And we hope that these glasses will help facilitate that. Well, guys, uh, now you've got one technology that we could be using. Let's talk about the next one. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Michael, for that. Now, uh, this, this is the other one that I'm curious about. Like, okay. This is like, I've seen some people, you know, they, they put it on and they're like kind of like in a different zone or whatever, you know, is, is this what it is with headphones? So, how does this work? You don't need to put it on because we don't... I don't, don't want to mess up your hair. So yeah, yeah, I don't want to mess up my hair because my fans won't let, will give me thumbs down. I don't want that, right they guys? Don't, they don't Thank you. Yeah. So I'm not afraid to mess up my hair. You don't, okay, so, so please do it for, for us, demonstrate for So us. these are... You've probably seen these uh, Google Cardboard, or you've heard of um, any of the sort of more expensive VR glasses. Yes. So these, this is called, they are called VR glasses, but they're not really. So what we're doing here is, if you wanted to use, have a, a real VR experience, 
the glasses in the computer can cost up to $5,000. And that's not really scalable at George Brown right now. There are some places at the waterfront and around campus that are experimenting with true VR, but it's cost prohibitive. So what we wanted to do is think of a way that we could have these in the class set, have students engaging using this technology, but at a reasonable price. So these cost $38 each on Amazon. Wow. And what okay. you do is you put your, your smartphone inside of it, okay? okay? And then you can run 360 video. So um, on our TLX uh, YouTube channel, which is okay. the TLX at YouTube.com. Call. Sure, yes, please say yes. We'll put it up there. Yes. Um, we have created a little playlist of some sort of some 360 video that you can watch on your phone. You can pop them into this and you can get that 360 experience. Um, how that would be useful is, for example, um, construction safety video. So oh, there, are some, yes, yes. there are some professors who are teaching health and safety at George Brown mm -hmm, yeah. and they teach it with a traditional textbook. Yeah. And they say, okay, here are safety procedures for construction site. However, there are videos available where you can have a 360 video of a construction site and you can actually be at the construction site and see all the hazards. So it becomes much more engaging, um, it's ex experiential learning and it yep. certainly, we hope, is going to allow the students to really visualize some of those things. Hey, maybe we could use some of this, uh, this uh, test for some of our classrooms renovations because you know what? I always just have to always go back and forth to every building and look at the uh, the new renovation. So that's something probably uh, I uh, even I think could probably use this. As okay. Well. And one of the great things about it is we also have this. So this, ah, is, this is a new one. Okay. This is the 360 camera. All right. All right. So what this allows faculty students to do is to actually take their own 360 video. All right. Throw it onto YouTube and actually watch it here. So if a oh, professor. Okay. So you would use this before you go, okay. That's right, so you can either get the video from YouTube, All right. or you can get it from some, uh, I think Discovery, Discovery Channel has a bunch of 360 video. Okay. But we want it to be really custom to George Brown, so you can create your own 360 video or images using this camera. Okay, so now, let's say I'm a faculty and I want to yeah. use this 360 camera, uh, is it, where do we sign it out, or is it, uh, you have to rent it, or how does this work? So right now we have one camera here at the TLX. Okay. I think there are a couple other cameras around that are in ITS. This will be a product that we will start to lend out in the near future. Okay. I would say your best bet as a faculty member is to come to the TLX and we can try it out and then we can sort of help you create video, create content that you want to use in your classroom. But this is a really great tool and we're really excited about some of the applications that we can create. And uh, have you seen some results? Some teachers are using this already or? So we've sp we've spoken to a few people in the construction yeah. okay. um, at CCT up in Castle Loma. Okay. We're really yes. interested in doing some of these things. Um, I also think that some of the nursing faculty are going to be really enthusiastic okay. about it. So if you can imagine, I'm a nurse. Yeah. Um, I mean, my first year, I have my practicum in a hospital in year two or three. Yeah, yeah. I want to understand what it's like to be in an operating theater. We could pop this into an operating theater. It could be 360 video, and I could get the experience before I actually have to do it in the hospital. Oh, so well, it's okay. all these experiential things that we're really trying to encourage. Oh, this is amazing. So now, okay. So as a faculty, yep. I guess before you, you you sign this out, do you need some training? Do they have to come over here for training? Uh, yeah, I or, or or you don't need to because it's pretty simple. But what do you? Well, I mean, the camera is, is is fairly simple, but there are some things you need to learn about how to take the video because it's okay, filmed yes. in a certain raw content, and yeah. you have to be able to put it onto YouTube. So those are some of the things that we can help at the TLX. Is if you're enthusiastic about it, we can come. You can practice here. You can figure out how to use it here, and then you can take it out and uh, oh, and use it. This is amazing. There's some great technology here for all all your faculties. And probably stuff too if you want to uh, get a chance to use it. But now my last question here is that I have a beautiful robot here. And uh, tell us what's uh, this is all about. So this is Georgie. And Georgie is our new George Brown College robot. Um, he's the only one on campus. And this is all loan from Strategy Innovation. So what they would like us to do with it at the TLX is practice, experiment with it. This is a new technology, okay. but our vision is, because we're looking at Vision 2030 and Strategy 2022, which is all about where is education going to be in 10 years. So we think, and I think it's fairly common knowledge, that robots and AI are going to be a big part of education yes. and of society in the next 10 years. So we've got this robot, and what we're trying to do now is think of applications 
um, where people can use them, where students can develop apps, where students can think about using robots okay. and AI in the industry when they graduate. So for example, I think it would be really common to see these robots as service robots. So we would like to take this into uh, um, a tourism class or a hospitality class and challenge the students to think, okay, how would you use this type of tool if you were running a hotel? Or if you were running a restaurant? Or if you were working in an airport? Or anything that's service related, what kind of things would you have this robot do? And that's our idea is to sort of think about some new technologies and some new ideas for something like this. Oh, that's, a, that's pretty cool. I think I've seen some of the stuff that in, in, in events and conference that the robot comes in and, and you touch this display and if you're lost and you're looking for a certain room or whatever, it just gives you that and it, it talks to you. I think I assume this talks to you too. Not yet. It will very okay. soon. So what we've got, we've just recently got it and it's uh, it's still under sort of factory factory model. Okay. But we're going to put Alexa into it so you'll be able to talk to the robot um, and give it commands. So for example, again, think about applications in the industry. Think of a doctor. So a doctor goes to rounds yes. and they go to all the different rooms and the doctor walks in and she sees a patient um, and she wants to take some notes. She could say to the robot, okay, Georgie, follow me. The robot would follow the doctor into each room. She can dictate to the robot. The robot can automatically upload all that data into a larger database at the hospital. Like that's something that's not happening now, but we think that's something that's going to be happening in the future. And we want to have our students yes. on the cutting edge of developing that kind you of technology. What? Wow, this is amazing. George Brown, I think you're seeing some uh, new technology. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Uh, unfortunately, we're running out of time, uh, but please contact Michael Levis. Uh, we'll put his uh, contact info here. And Brandon, uh, we'll, put, we'll put all the instructional designers and all of the faculty facilitators, put their emails available. Yes, yes, please, uh, we'll do, we'll do. Uh, you just supply that for us, we'll do that. And uh, this is great. I mean, uh, I can see the future advancing. Uh, I, I'm glad to see that George Brown is moving forward with technology because it's something that we cannot uh, um, hold back. Right. I mean, it, it, it is something that we need to evolve uh, as, as, as we move forward. Um, guys, uh, Michael, is there anything else you would like to add uh, for faculty? Uh, sure. Um, I'd like to add that the TLX is, is designed for you, yeah. the faculty, the teaching faculty and soon staff and staff and admin will also be welcome. I mean, you're still welcome now, but we're focusing on faculty right now. So if you're intimidated by technology, you might not want to start with the robot. But if you're just thinking about how to add some more zip to your PowerPoint presentations, or you're worried about students who are using digital devices in the classroom and you're losing their attention, all of those kinds of things, the TLX welcomes you. We're here to support you in any way we can. Um, please contact us and come by anytime. All right, great. Thank you very much, Michael. It's a pleasure and, uh, to do this with you. And uh, well, for right, the source, this is something new. I hope you guys enjoy this because the technology is for everyone. Uh, maybe we could use in some of our events. Maybe John, uh, our producer, will want to use this uh, 360. I could see him smiling there going, oh my God, yes, we could do something like that. Or we could use the robot to do something crazy. We don't know yet, but the future will, will, will tell us. Anyways, thank you very much. Love, peace, and talk to you soon.